In this video, I'm going to show you a great and ideal team centered around Blaziken, the middle choice of starters for Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. This team will feature six Pokemon that'll help Blaziken conquer all the main challenges in Hoenn and defeat the secret boss within Emerald as well. Now, there's a handful of rules we must follow for this team. No trade evolutions, no post-game Pokemon, no version exclusives unless they're in more than one game, no Pokemon from outside of Hoenn, move tutors are okay, but get the ones before the post-game, and Hidden Power is okay, but you'll have to edit your Pokemon using PK Hex. So now that I explained the rules, how about we jump right into this challenge? Unlike past Ideal Team challenges, the Move Deleter is reached far earlier, so we won't need temporary Pokemon for this challenge. We'll have our Ground-type use Rock Smash, we'll have our Electro-type use Flash, and we'll have one of our Pokemon use Strength. We'll handle the HMs like that until we get through Victory Road so we can make the journey as quick as possible. Beginning the list, we have our starter, Blaziken. What makes Blaziken great is that it has decently even stats along with Sky High Attack and Special Attack. Blaziken's also great because it's a fire fighting type, offensively great against many opponents in Hoenn. The way to get Blaziken is very easy. Soon after you begin the game and finish talking to your rival, head to Route 102 to save Professor Birch and get the Pokeball containing Torchic. Then during your journey, train Torchic to level 16 to evolve into Combusken, then train again to level 36 to evolve into Blaziken. A good nature for Blaziken would be either hasty or naive. Since it has great attack and special attack, Blaziken needs much higher speed so they could be a mixed attacking force. A good move set for Blaziken would be Fire Punch as its go-to move, hitting hard against Bug, Steel, Grass, and Ice types. Overheat is back up in case Fire Punch doesn't hit hard enough. Brick Break is its other go-to move, hitting hard against normal Rock, Steel, Ice, and Dark types. Also, Mirror Move is support so Blaziken can hit the foe with the move they just used. Though, be careful which move you use, though. Blaziken will do best against Roxanne, Watson's Magneton, Norman, we know as Tropius and Skarmory, Sydney, Glacier's Glalies, Rival's Tropius, Team Magma's Dart types, Team Aqua's Dart types, and Steven's Skarmory, Agron, Credilli, and Metagross. Next on the list, we have the Dancing Lilypad, Ludicolo. What makes Ludicolo great is that it has well-rounded stats and great special defense. Ludicolo is also great because it's a water grass type. One great type and one bad type mixed together to have great defensive synergy. The way to get Ludicolo is very simple as well. Soon after you head to Route 102, search through the tall grass to find Lotad. Then train up Lotad to level 14 to evolve into Lombre. Then obtain the Water Stone from the abandoned ship to get Ludicolo. A good nature for Ludicolo would be modest or mild. All of Ludicolo's good moves are special attacks, so it'll need a buff and special attack without losing speed. A good move set for Ludicolo would be Surf as its go-to move, hitting hard against Rock, Ground, and Fire types. Waterfall is back up in case Surf runs out of power points, also helpful at climbing over actual waterfalls. Giga Drain is support to replenish health Ludicolo lost in battle, and Ice Beam is coverage to make flying grass and dragon types less problematic to deal with. Ludicolo will do okay against Flannery with a water move, but do best against Winona, Tate and Liza, Juan except Kingdra, Sydney's grass types, Drake except Kingdra, Wallace's Wailord, Wishcash, and Melotic, Rival except Ludicolo, Team Magma, Team Aqua's Flying Types, and Steven's Agron, Cradilly, Claydol, and Armaldo. Up next, we have the Sandy Dragonfly, Flygon. What makes Flygon great is that it has equally rounded high stats along with high attack and speed. Flygon is also great because it's a ground dragon type, able to resist and be strong against many opponents in Hoenn. The way to get Flygon is kind of simple. Once you get the Go Goggles from your rival, head to Route 112 and make it to the desert route to capture Trapinch. Then train up Trapinch to level 35 to evolve into Vibrava, then train again to level 45 to evolve into Flygon. A good nature for Flygon would be Mild or Rash. Since all of Flygon's stats are good enough, it'll need a boost in its special attack to do great with dragon moves as well. Another thing that'll help Flygon is giving it 252 special attack EVs. A good move set for Flygon would be Dragon Claw as its go-to move, hits hard against other dragons. Earthquake is another go-to move, hitting hard against Rock, Poison, Steel, Fire, and Electric types. Dig is back up in case Earthquake runs out of power points. Also, Flygon can utilize Dig nicely since Levitate makes it immune to ground moves. As for its support move, it'll have Substitute and Emerald and Sandstorm and Ruby and Sapphire. Substitute helping Flygon withstand attacks far better and Sandstorm slowly chipping down stronger opponents every turn. Flygon will do best against Wands Kingdra, Drake, Wallace's Tentacruel, Rival Slugma, 
Team Magma's Fire Types, and Steven's Agron and Metagross. Next on the list and returning from the ideal team of Johto, we have the Sharp Metallic Bird, Skarmory. Doesn't need much explanation, but Skarmory is great due to having sky-high defense as well as its typing of steel flying resisting many other types. The way to get Skarmory is kind of tricky. When you get to Route 113, search through the ash-covered grass patiently and you'll find Skarmory. Also, Skarmory can't evolve, but that won't matter since Skarmory is already great. A good nature for Skarmory would be adamant or naughty to make its attack a lot better since all of Skarmory's good moves are physical. It'll also help to get Skarmory 252 attack EVs. A good move set for Skarmory would be Aerial Ace as a go-to move, never misses the opponent and hits hard against fighting bug and grass types. Fly as backup in case Aerial Ace runs out of power points, also helpful for traveling to towns you've already been to. Facade to hit very hard if Skarmory's paralyzed or burned, and Spikes as support to slowly cut down stronger opponents. Skarmory will do best against Brawly, Norman, we known as Tropius, Sydney's Grass Types, Wallace's Ludicolo, and Rivals Tropius and Ludicolo. Up next we have the High Voltage Hound, Minetric. What makes Minetric good is that it has high special attack and speed. Minetric is also great because it's an electric type, capable of being a strong special glass cannon in Hoenn. The way to get Minetric is very simple. Head to Route 110 and search through the tall grass and capture Electrike. Then train up Electrike to level 26 to evolve into Minetric. A good nature for Minetric would be either Bold or Calm. Since Minetric is a bit frail and won't rely on physical attack, it'll need some defense support to help it last longer. A good move set for Minetric could be Shockwave, never misses the opponent and hits hard against flying and water types. Thunderbolt is backup in case Minetric runs out of Shockwave, another go-to move since it hits hard. Crunches coverage to make Psychic and Ghost types less annoying to deal with, and Protect to help Minetric last longer against certain foes. The way to get Minetric Crunch would be to breed a male Mawile and Ruby or a male Saviper and Sapphire or Emerald with a female Electrike. Train up either the Mawile or Saviper till it learns Crunch, then breed it with the Electrike to pass down the move. Minetric will do best against Winona except Tropius, Taten Liza Zatu, Juan except Wishcash, Sydney's Crawdont, Glacia's Water Types, Wallace except Wishcash, Team Magma's Crobat Line, Team Aqua's Water and Flying Types, and Steven's Skarmory. Last on the list, we have the Omen Bringer, Absol. It's another one of Hoenn's Pokemon with high attack, but its other stats being middling. But what makes Absol good is having huge attack and a wide move pool. Absol's also good because it's a dark type, strong against some foes in Hoenn that our main team can't handle alone. The way to get Absol is somewhat tricky, head to Route 120 and search through the tall grass. If you're patient enough, you'll find an Absol. Also, Absol can't evolve. A good nature for Absol would be hasty, naive, or jolly. Since Absol's not good with defense, it'll have to rely on speed to do any good in battle. Another thing that'll help Absol would be giving it 252 speed EVs. A good move set for Absol would be Secret Power, does good damage and has a high chance to inflict the status condition. Thief is support to take an opponent's item away, helpful at stopping targets from using their Citrus Berry. Shadow Ball is its go-to move, hitting hard against Psychic and Ghost types since Absol can't make great use of its type physically. Also, Hidden Power Ghost is backup in case Shadow Ball runs out of power points. Absol will do best against Tate and Liza, Fowibe, and Steven's Claydol. Had we gotten Absol sooner, it would have had a lot more challenges to do best against. Finally, we finished the ideal team centered around Blaziken for Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. While Hoenn had many great new Pokemon, it was still limited due to some good Pokemon from Kanto and Johto not being anywhere in Hoenn, as well as most good moves being limited to post-game move tutors in Emerald or move tutors from Fire Red and Leaf Green. But despite the lack of good move tutors in Hoenn's main game, Emerald is still the far more preferred version of the Gen 3 games. So now that I've finished covering the ideal teams for Swampert and Blaziken, I'll be covering a team centered around Sceptile, the weaker choice of starters. While Grass types have it far better in Hoenn than in Johto, Sceptile is somehow weaker than the other two starters due to not having a secondary type. Dragon type would have helped it so much. Hey look, that's all I got for now. If you enjoyed the ideal team of Hoenn centered around Blaziken, please leave a like or comment telling me what you enjoyed the most about this video. Until next time, have a good day.